Hey everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe and today we are doing an acrylic pour painting on a 10 by 10 canvas. Um, this is going to be a wreck -a ring so wreck a tree ring pour um, on a spinner. I got this spinner set up, set up so there'll be a lot of spinner pours coming up um, this week. And we're going to do this as a leftover paint pour. And this does have the black that has the silicone oil in it from a couple videos ago. I don't have quite enough paint for this um, technique, so I'm going to add a little bit of sunflower yellow. Also, it seems that there's a lot of dark colors in here, so I want to brighten it up. Um, and some electric lime. And then some white. And then... Um, if I need to pour some extra around the outside of the canvas to help it flow, then I can do that as well. And so for this technique, it's just like a tree ring pour. So we're going to start with that. And just a little bit about the setup. We have a big box with parchment paper to catch the runoff so I can use the skins in future projects. The spinner with a shower cap. I have nothing holding this down. We're just going to hopefully take it a little bit easier than normal because I didn't have time to tape it down. Um, and then just our cup of paint and then we just go in like a little circle in the middle of the canvas. Definitely see like a big chunk. Oh, and we are still not level of paint. So uh, we'll spin it out and then I'll get it out if I need to. Paint has gotten, seems a little bit thick. It has been extremely hot. So that can reduce the longevity of your leftover paint. And then you just take a stick and run it through. Um, there's a lot of this blue here, so I'm going to break that up a little bit. I love these cells, so I'm gonna try to leave that area alone. And there's that big chunk. Let me go ahead and get it out. I found it. Oh. Okay, so it's actually just paint that's like not blended in. It's actually not a chunk of paint. It's just like an unblended chunk of paint, if that makes any sense. All right, and then we're gonna spin it out. Look at that cell. I'm gonna take it easy because the canvas can fly off since it's not taped down or anything. really cool. I'm not sure we're going to get a good recording like design from it, but it's going to be a pretty awesome one. Yeah, you can see where that paint is acting silly. I should have used it faster or kept it in a cooler area. Just help it along on these edges. We'll see how it dries though. I'm not too worried about it. Go a little bit harder and just kind of hope that it stays on there. And this box isn't that big. I want to say maybe 20 to 25 inches across, approximately. Let's see if I can just tilt it a little bit, if that'll help. We just might not have had enough paint. Should have considered that. Actually, it is looking kind of cool, so I don't want to mess that up. So I'm just going to keep spinning it. Uh, it's about 20 by 20 inch box, approximately, maybe 25, somewhere around there. So it's not very far. People are always worried that the paint just flying everywhere, and it definitely can, but especially the way I spin all crazily. Um, but you don't really need that big of an area to protect against. I want to say I bought some patio furniture. That's where this box came from. <laughs> All right, we're almost there. I'm just going to keep going. Okay, we're there here enough. I'm just going to use my fingers for that part. And yeah, we definitely didn't keep the wreck ring. Well, it's definitely wrecked. It's just not very ringy. <laughs> so you can see where we drew those lines through that teal. Um, but with the silicone oil creating the cells and then the different textures or, yeah, the thicknesses of the paints since they've been sitting for a while, 
it definitely created a different design, but I still really like it. It's definitely um, a little whimsical with the different colors in here, kind of the purples and blues, and then that electric line kind of sneaking in on the outer edges. It's going to touch up the edges on the spinner. Makes it super easy because you can just spin it around and see. And I'll bring you in for close-up. All right, here we are for the close-up. I think I like this direction the best. I love this like pink line going up the side here and then all of the little cells popping up throughout the piece. And then that cosmic teal color is one of my favorites. So I love that whole section. And then the middle is really interesting too with all the different colors kind of coming together. That's where like the end of the cup was, which is where a lot of the colors were. Let me know what you think of this piece in the comments below. And if you have any specific techniques or color combinations you would like me to try during this 30 days, 30 different acrylic pour techniques series, leave those there as well. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and do what makes you happy. I hope this night